It's Ebro, Laura, and Rosenberg, and welcome to the program. Lola Brooke is in the yeah. building. Brooklyn. Uh-huh. Dennis is off. What's up, Dennis y'all? is dark. Wait, so a couple of things we got to establish. Dennis is clearly a dad. Dennis is yes. daughter. Okay. Yes. Shout out to Dennis. Is Dennis still with us? Mm. He in this room right now, but he, he my go. father deceased. In but I, but I'm pretty he's, sure he here. He's here. If you, if you, it, yeah, the, you have you have some songs on there where you really kind of talk to your your dad and his mom passed too, correct? Yeah, she just recently passed May 13th. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. That was just really mm-hmm. so. Yeah, so it was um it was a little rough because that I think maybe that's that's when I said to myself, okay, it's time to tap into your story like your life what you're dealing with because you can't ignore it and the only way that you won't be able to cope with it is to speak on it so because this is something that everybody deals with and some you know what i mean yeah Yeah. and then it just everything you would think that everything happened at the wrong time but it is really happening at the time it's supposed to right Mm. well and and so then my next question for you is is brooke just a brooklyn you know head nod to brooklyn or is that real name lola brooke nah Oh, okay. My name is Shawnee Thomas. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yo, that's great. Know. You don't hear people say that very often. Like you're like a pro wrestler. Like you just have a name at work, and then you have. I got. I got a lot of names. Well, you have other names. What are the I other have names? a lot of names. I have Big Gator. I have Biney. I have Lola Brooke. I have Shawnee. I have Little Dennis. I have literally, I have a lot of names. So where where did you come up with to Ebro's point? Where did you come up with Lola Brooke? Lola Brooke. Okay, so in high school they used to say I look like Lola the Bunny, the mm-hmm. character. I see that. And then um, Brooke just stands for Brooklyn. And I always wanted a name that sound like an actress name. So I feel like Lola Brooke sounds like an actress name. Okay. I mean, so yeah. 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 <laughs> I always wanted to make sure that my name looked good on the screen, and they won't be like, "Oh, that's a rapper." It would just be like, "Oh, that's an entertainer." I got to tell you, you did a good job. Because a lot of right. times when people come up with like an entertainment name, they try too hard. Yeah. But Lola Brooke is just right. It made your name. Right. You, know, you it agree, made it right? Re- it stands out. It stands out. And I was like, wait, is that like a Brooklyn shout out? Or that's a real It name? is, though. Brooke stands but for it Brooklyn. Is. Yeah, it mm-hmm. is. It is. So here's my next question. You got two hits under your belt. Like two bona fide hits now, right? Yeah. Uh, the second one being this record, you with you and uh, Bryson Tiller, where you finessed the the the, the Foxy Brown. Uh-huh. I think the original sample was Dennis Edwards, right? Is that no, what Eugene no. Wilde. Eugene Wilde, excuse me. And um, your version of this song mm-hmm. is uh, very explicit. I didn't. No, I it's didn't, not. I mean, you know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, when you listen to the non-radio version, it's not like you cursing up a storm, but y'all definitely getting it on in this record, though. But you know, I cleaned it up, sweep, sweep. I <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. I was just like, no. it, I was actually very proud. I was like, yo, this Thank is dope. You. She's showing a side of herself that we hadn't seen yet. Yeah, but it's so crazy because I'm, I'm like a lover girl. Like I love love, so. I've tapped into my vulnerable side with love before, but I felt like I needed to do it again so that the world could see, you know? And this but, was set, This was love plus sexy time. Yeah. Like, yeah. I had... Yeah, yeah. It's just, I have another side of me, man. I just, you have your share of sexy time throughout the album. You're, you're, it's, it's, out, it's on there. But um, don't play with it. I was talking crazy, too. It, no, you play was. was in you the was. very beginning. Yeah, that's you true. Was, you was, you was. Well, what, what, does, but, act, what does don't play with it exactly mean don't play with it like don't like put your like, whole face in it don't play in around it. Like, go ahead yeah. but it Just seems like does it, it have double meaning throughout it or are you simply talking to dudes about it's, you know it's a it, it it meant a lot it meant like stop playing with me and then it, it meant and for the ones that i'm playing with it's like stay in it all day though <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it is a double meaning yes by the way but Eber, you can feel good about this because a lot of time the problem is new artists come out and we don't even really want to talk about the sexual side of their music because they're like 19 years old. Mm. But you're a, a whole grown ass woman. Like, yeah, I'm grown. You may grown. be you're you're a shade over four eight, but you are a grown ass woman. I am over four eight for sure. You're what, what are you four eleven? So, I'm four ten. <laughs> <laughs> you're crushing four eight. Trust me. Oh my god, I'm gonna grow up. Well, no, it's over. Yeah, it's but, over. It's but over. But speaking of uh, you bringing out your sexy, I love that you were working with the aunties with Tiana Taylor and her yeah. team. Yes. Um, oh, y'all killed it. Thank I mean, you. listen, we were we were uh, we were watching you perform, and we we're like, wow, like this. She's bringing it. Can you tell us a little bit about how that happened and working I with mean, Tiana and her team? It was summer gym. I had to go crazy. The <laughs> main stage. Yeah. My first time at summer jam, I hit main stage when it was my set. 
Yep. So I was like, yo, I got to put on for the city. And it was only right to go to Tiana Taylor because I knew that she would understand me as an artist because growing up, she had Sweet 16 show. Right, right, right. And I remember she was the first girl that I've ever seen had a Sweet 16 and wasn't just girly. She was herself. And I always thought that I had to be so pretty and feminine all the time, but nah. So when we start working together, I'm like, okay, I trust everything that she's telling me because I know she knows, like, what, what I'm going for and what I want the city to see. Right. So, yeah. So well, now you're at, and now you're at Winter Jam, too. Shout now, out to Winter Jam. Winter Jam, so you know I gotta do the things I like to do. <laughs> But you really did. It made your set stand out, you know, because yeah. a lot of times people will take the, you know, radio shows and they don't give it their full set, right? They mm -hmm. just show up and do like a little and performance. Do, right. But you took it serious. And as a result, the set completely stood out. Yeah, they, she even helped me. Like she had people help me with the production as well, too. So it was like a live band on certain parts. And yeah, she like sourced it up. You've mentioned a couple times though that like the the the, the lack of prissiness, mm -hmm. but like I now am married to a New York girl who is sexy, but is very but much very, a tomboy also. Yes. Like it when like generally wearing mm -hmm. a Yankee hat, generally yeah. Every it, but but it is interesting because you get to know girls like that. Are you also like that in the way that you're tomboy on the outside, but also very caretaking is, lover girl yes, as well? Yes, I'm a lover girl like. I love love. I'm affectionate. Like I'm all Aquarius. You caretaker? I don't even know what that means. Cook? I'm a, when people yeah, just I'm shout a out their, let's keep it real. When people just shout out their zodiac sign in relation to like how they emote, uh, it never makes sense to me. No, honestly, it's just for conversation because I'm not. You know, it's just. It's just Johnny called your pre was like, wait a second, hold up. It's just for conversation. Because like, literally, Laura I'm could be like, Laura fan. could be like, yo, I love relationships. I love love. I'm a Scorpio, and I'll be like, I love love too. I'm a Pisces. Good. It yeah. just sound good. You know, you ended off because I'm a Aquarius. <laughs> you know? But it don't really mean nothing to me because we... It'll say something, uh, you'll read up your Zodiac sign and it'll be like, oh, um, you're going through something right now. I'm always going through something. Right. <laughs> I'm always going through something. Do you... So you have like your aggressive voice that you just put on. Yeah, that's my mad voice. So, this, but, I just want a rough neck. Right, right, right. It's your rap voice. Your, yeah. But do you do you like when you're like in lover girl mode? Are you baby talking at home? Or are you like, like a little... Mm. No, I like the um the hotline. I like the hotline tone. Like, yeah, how you doing? What you oh. doing? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You mean the sex line? Yeah, that's the sex line. Yeah. <laughs> but that's look, called, you know call, 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 call one, call 917 L O L A Brook. I need to do the 718 hotline. That's hard. You want to take it back? Yo, you could do the old school commercials. Remember those? The oh call 976 sex. Yeah, yeah. That was a thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I might fuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> you can find a whole other uh, avenue you what never is, even you, thought about. You can recreate that Spike Lee movie, Girl Six. Remember? Oh, that's, right. that's what I'm talking. You know what I'm saying? I've seen. I've I've never really seen the um full movie though. But I've, I've it never always seen Girl will Six come either. come on. Um, I think what uh, I forgot what station, but I, I know what you're talking about though. Um, you you uh obviously you doing a big record with Koi mm -hmm. for the album was a cool ass look. Mm -hmm. Um. How good are you feeling about this state? I know it's like a generic question, but oh, women in hip hop. I think almost <laughs> it's almost getting old now because honestly, everyone knew who's popping is a woman, so women, it's starting right. to get like yeah. generic. Right. But given the history we have, where not everyone would play in the sandbox so nice, mm -hmm. it is really cool to see y'all kind of all vibing. What was that? Was that intentional, or y'all just had a record in the stash and you put it out? Um. It was intentional because me and Koi pass, like cross paths all the time and the energy is just undeniable. So it was like, why not work with each other? And then we, this, what, what what separates us? The Holland Tunnel? Right. Yeah. And New if York, you're not New that Jersey, far. Like, right, right, right. Not right, right. that far. How, how much, how much it, uh, it costs to go through the well, now it's Now it's, it's like, like $16. It's like $29 now. Yeah, I mean, it costs. It costs to link up, but it ain't nothing too crazy. <laughs> 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 so yeah, it was just so genuine. And then... um. I just felt like on screen, it would look so dope to have petite women working together with so much big energy because that's what I'm based on, energy, and definitely ain't the size. <laughs> no, no, you bring a lot more than the 410. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I'm I'm seven too. Lola, yeah. what, broke you, what, what school you went to in Brooklyn? Boys and Girls. You went to Boys and Girls in Brooklyn? You got, uh -huh. you went to uh You went to college out here or you just went straight I, into making music? I went to... 
Mega Evans, but I I I I dropped out. Mm. You was like, let me focus on this music, or you were were you studying? What were you studying? Business. Okay. But um, now, now you running the business. Out right, but I just wanted to make some money at the time when I was in college. Like, I was like, Ma, I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I'm important to the world. But right now, I want to make some money, so <laughs> I'm gonna go back to school. But it just ain't right now. And then what'd you do? I right know. Was she cool with it? Was I, she like she was cool? She was cool because I promised her that I would go. Okay. So when I went, I said, Look, listen, I I don't think it's working out for me because I did good my first semester. My second semester, it wasn't too. It wasn't too right. I'm not about to waste my time. I know what I want to do. So if you could just bear with me, I'm going to figure it out. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to figure it out. Was was your mom mom's held you down. My mom held me down. Was she always supportive of your music career? Um, Yeah, my mom is the reason why I resigned from my recent job before I pro, um I um started my rap career. Like, she just she would see me come home late nights and trying to figure it out. And she just pulled me to the side and was like, look, listen, if this is taking too much of your time and you can't be the artist you want to be, um, I, I got you. You, should, you wow. can resign. What was the recent job before your music career? I was working in the shelter. I was doing residential aid, and she got me the job. Wow. So I needed her approval because it's like my mom right. just went out her way to get me this job and now i'm trying to pursue a different career but she was with it and then i had um i had even more support with my team 80 um my mentor he was like yo i got you too as well so i i had a good support. so what was the order you were working in the shelter mm -hmm. and also making music and then you did you have any success before you decided to leave or are you just like i'm gonna leave and then you found i had success? no type of success you just left and went i for just it? left um, I had dropped a freestyle 2017 flow and it got some type of attraction from the city, but it was nothing to, it wasn't nothing for me to be like, oh, I'm leaving my job. Right, 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 right. right. But I left because, um, uh, mentally I, I couldn't keep doing it. Uh, I couldn't keep doing it. And my mom seen it. So, and I left, um, 2017, February 14th on Valentine's Day, I resigned from my job. And then how long between then and when you first started making like actual money in music? A few years, right? I just started making money off right. music, really. People don't ever realize it or see that part. Mm -mm. So four years. It was about four years of grinding. Because yeah. your last record popped in 2022, right? That was right. And I started going. I started my career professionally 2017. Yeah, wow. So, so really, like four or five years, yeah. I was like struggling. It was it was rough. So you you got signed. Uh, and you say you just started making money. So have you been able to, you know, pay your mom back in some way, shape, or form? What? Yeah, I just said I sent my mom back recently to um um Atlanta. She was out here for the holidays with me, Thanksgiving. I'll make sure I take in my mom for sure. Oh, so like, she was able to move? No, she see my mom. My mom got her house herself before any of all this stuff started happening God, for me. Okay. Mm. So I've always seen my mom grinding, and when she wanted right. something, she went and got it. So, yeah. Well, look, Dennis's daughter, you out here, Lil Dennis, Lil Lola. Yeah, Lil she D. She out here doing it. Doing the things that I like to do. I'm trying. So um, while, while you're on, while you're on uh, New York radio, too, mm -hmm. we might as well have you shout out some people, because I'm sure there's people like back in the day that, you know, uh, showed love, supported, you know, all of that before it was a real thing. Family members that believed in you. She's hesitating. Uh-oh. Is that family members? Mm. Okay, so I wouldn't say that my family didn't believe in me, but um, I didn't have I didn't have the support that I needed. Got they might have gave the support that they wanted to give, but it wasn't enough. And and I I don't blame them because I've never I never told them. I never wore my pain on my sleeves. Out um, looking in, you wouldn't know that I was I was struggling. God. Because my mom was so strong. It was like, yeah. How old are you when your dad passed? Uh, well, my dad passed in 2015, so uh -huh. I'm 29 now. Were your parents together when your dad passed, or no? Nah. Okay. Nah, my my parents broke up when I was a little baby. Like I never seen my mom and my dad kiss or hug. But your dad was always in your life. Yeah. So that's a lot. So then in between 2015, over the last eight years, then you lost your dad and your grandmother, who, at least on your record, you talk about being very close with. Yeah, yes. 
Yeah, like my my grandmother is the reason I had a strong bond with my father. You felt it through your yeah, grandma. yeah. Oh, that's tough. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. so. So well, yeah, it's a little rough. We proud of you up here. Yeah, man. You know Thank what I'm you. The whole city's proud of you. The music you're making is great. Thank uh, you. You're having hits. You are showing uh, multiple styles of mm -hmm. being an artist too. I think that's important too because when you go through the album. And y'all could go get it and support Lola Brooke repping Brooklyn. You what section of Brooklyn you rep? Best style, one one two one six. You heard? Yeah. Um, yeah, all that. Mm -hmm. and, and and so go support her because the album and Rosenberg, you could attest to this. It has a you know she ain't just doing one sound, one style. No, mm -hmm. no, no. You hit you hit a few different things. There's some really interpersonal like emotional stuff. Yeah. And then you also have, you know, the big Brooklyn energy. I'll, I'll punch you, know you in the saying? face You hear the Timbos. Yeah, yeah. You can hear the Tims tapping on the album. <laughs> you know, there's a lot. Oh, when did you meet our beloved, I say yes, our beloved uh, young Sav? Sav stalked me. That sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> when did Sav start stalking? When did you notice you had a stalker? Um, what was it? 2021? 20, no, it's 2021. And you came back. That's, yeah, he came. 2021, then he came back. 2022, still stalking me. And, and so he was just in your DMs like, hey, and by the way, if people don't know, Sav is a, is a music executive. He used to work mm -hmm. here in many capacities. His brother's Fat Man Scoop. He's part of the family here. Mm -hmm. But... He just like crept and was like, "Hey, I'm interested in what you're doing. How did how did it go?" Yeah, um, yeah. He was just like, "Yo, like you don't." But it was so crazy that I didn't. I I had a lot of those type of DMs, but with him, it just felt genuine. I'm like, he's not a weird. He don't give me weirdo vibes. He does not. Like, he, he, yo, Sav really doesn't give weirdo vibes. That is yeah, true. like I, I'm you like, know why? Because he's not a weirdo. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm like, Evo that we know nah. of yet. And then you did your research on him. Yeah, I hit up my team like, yo. Right. And they was like, oh, Sav. Like, you know, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So you guys know this guy. He like, they like, yeah, Sav. I'm like, all right, cool. So was that sort of timeline-wise, Was the? can you time it out that around meeting Sav was sort of the beginning of when it started turning into like uh, yeah. the next stage of some dollars starting to come in? Yeah, the next stage start coming in. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. pretty good. Out of way, Sav. Gang, gang. Did yes. he ever tell you about the time he met Jimmy Carter on a plane? <laughs> and he, he, he saw Jimmy other? Carter on a plane and was like, yo, what's up, Jimmy, baby? He called Jimmy Carter. He called President Carter, who's, uh, who God rest his uh, wife's soul. She just died this week. Sad saw Jimmy Carter on a plane, and Jimmy Carter had a thing of any time he flew. First of all, he flew commercially, and when he flew, he would walk up and down the plane and shake everyone's hand. Sav has a video of himself <laughs> filming as Jimmy Carter comes up to shake his hand. And your manager, this gentleman here, hands up, sticks out his hand and goes, Yo, Jimmy, what's up, baby? You good? <laughs> to, to the present. Probably one of our Why you never videos. showed me that? Yo, you have to show her this gem. He's so bad. When, how, oh, wait, when, when was it's this? It's like four or five years ago? Yes. Five, six you years good. ago. Yo, and he Jimmy, said, what? what up, Jimmy Baby? He <laughs> said, Jimmy, yeah, what's up, Jimmy Baby? You good? Oh, you can't make this shit up, man. You can't make yeah, that's your up. guy. That's young Savarini. <laughs> well, congrats, Lola. This is awesome, Thank man. Thank you. Yes, we're so proud of you, Lola. I appreciate it, yeah, man. Yeah, shout to Tree. Shout to your entire team. You guys are really, really amazing. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, man. How do you get, how do, uh, can, we, can we manifest in the universe you doing some sort of Jordan collab at some point with the Lola energy, with the Lola bunny we need Energy. that. Yo, you know I love I love Space Jam. I'm looking for Bugs Bunny anyways, you so know? The, the, this, <laughs> let's manifest this into the, you. You doing something Lola Bunny related needs to be put in the energy. Because once you said that's how you got your name, it is no, sort of... No, I can of, change my voice. What, what they need me to do? Because I, I can make a unique, a unique character, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, can, we can figure it out. Come right. on. Give Lola Bunny a little Brooklyn energy. I can see it. Yes, give Lola Bunny a little fit Yankee fitted. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. <laughs> Yo, well, yeah, I like that. Yo, let's get to something off of Dennis's daughter. You want to play that Bryson Tiller? What else you want to play off the album? Um, I want to play. Please don't get me started. Please don't. Uh, 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 please don't. Uh, 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 Quayle uh. Amnesia. Let's do it. Uh, yo, Lola, we love you. Uh, and, and have you had a chance to link up with any of the Brooklyn MCs, or any of the ladies, Foxy, Kim, any of that? Have they reached out? Have you guys crossed paths? Um, well, I crossed paths with Kim.
and I be in conversations with Fox. Oh, like word. I text her a, f- a few days ago. Or she text. She be texting me too. So, so, like randomly. Oh, I like that. That's mm-hmm. beautiful. That's so, so you're dope. in communication with both. On yeah. Some wow. Yeah. All right. With well, both. Mm-hmm. Winter, I love them winter both. Jam. You never know. You never. Know you what's just happening. never know. It get cold <laughs> in New York City. You know. Yo, if, Lola Brooke, if Lola Brooke could bring out Kim and Fox, nah, 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 that's a lie. No, 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 oh, no. no. Oh, wow. Don't pressure me. Wow. Don't, don't put Wow. Yo, Fab, Fab almost Fab almost did it a few summer jams ago, but Foxy was <sighs> late and it missed the moment. It almost happened. Yeah, what? I remember that. It almost happened before. Uh, yeah. That'll be a blessing. It'd be no, amazing. They, they said they said New York City is going underwater in, in what year? What? The way it looks, it, it could be could be three or four weeks. <laughs> it, could, it could be any moment. Based Yo, on these storms, it could be any moment. Well, I tell you, if, if the day that happened, we won't begin flooding no more. There you go. <laughs> Saves the city. Lola Brooks saves, the, saves city. the city. Uh-uh. That's uh-uh, the headline. Uh-uh. All right, Lola, we love you. Dennis's love daughter. Love you more. Everybody Thanks, go Lola. pick it up. Thank Sav, you. we love you too. Brooklyn, we did it. We did it, you heard?